we're going to find this form, which is the PSI exam form. All right. So we're going to go to Google and we're going to put in PSI exam. PSI exam. And then we're going to come to this page right here and just go to your government and your state licensing. And after you get your government state licensing, go to your jurisdiction, wherever you live. I'm going to go to Virginia. Click in Virginia right here. And then I'm going to go to Barbering or Cosmetology. God, Barbering and Cosmetology right there. All right, and so I want to go down and click English because I'm going to do it in English, and then I want to go to download. And now I got what I'm looking for that's PC PSI online exam. All right, for your barber. Now we have the PSI exam sheet for barbering. Right. And then you just want to scroll down and see what's in the text. And this is all their information. And you want to go down to get the information. If it's first time doing this, read all this information, print it out, and read it. All right, because you need to know all this information. All right, this right here is the price of the test. That's the practical test is $86. The theory test is $86, all right? And if you're doing a retake, it's the same price. So you don't want to um, want to make sure you pass it the first time. I'm not going to go through all that information. I know y'all don't want to me read all that out. Once you get it printed out, you can read it. These are the exam um, sites for Virginia. All right. Go all the way down. We're going to go down until we get to the examination the test. All right. Keep on scrolling down. All right. So now this is the test is the NACAS. Um, is this is one is for the theory no chemicals this is the theory no chemical barbering test all right we're gonna keep going down we're gonna read all the stuff the first things you see you're gonna come to it's gonna say barber one no chemical service theory all right content online and this tells you the area right here tells you the percentage of what's on the test all right, 40% are the scientific concept. 40% comes out of that, out of the test, of the questions that they're going to ask you. Um, right here, number two, we see implements and equipment. 10% of those, gonna be, they're going to be, they're going to ask you those. Hair and um, care, hair care services is 30% of those. And then the facial hair and skin care is 20% of that. All right, so you want to make sure you know those. And these, this is the way that the questions are going to be asked. And then, all right, but you're going to be doing them on the computer unless you choose to uh, take a written test. All right, you can't ask for a written test, um, but you would have to be on the premises as well. All right, special attention. And this is just talking about how things should be set up. And it says the container um, label should be to be disinfected. Um, one container should be labeled soil linen and the next one should be trash, labeled trash. All right. All right. These are the different areas of this test that you're going to be doing. The first one is the work area and client uh, preparation is set up. Next one is your hair cutting. The next one is the new work area for a new client. Next one is the shaving. And then the next one is blood exposure. Very simple test. Easy test. Really easy. 
all right then it's got the content this is just talking about how you clean you're going to clean your area make sure that you everything is done for set up for the person the person the client that you're going to have all right and it's just talking about disinfecting your area and how you're supposed to keep everything clean right there i'm not reading all that stuff all right the next area is your hair cutting section and in your hair cutting section is to talk about how your hair cutting supplies should be labeled in english your implements should be clean and visible. You're going to do a, a scalp analysis. All right. You're going to cut the clip with using the guards with the clippers. And then you're going to use, um, cut without using the guards. And then you're going to use the shear over comb. All right. And then you're going to make sure you edge it up. Make sure everything is even. The sideburns are even. All right. Throughout the haircut. Um... It should be an inch, a half an inch of hair cut throughout the whole haircut. So you need to prep your mannequin for this. All right. And there should be no weight lines in the hair. I'm going through it kind of quick, y'all, because I don't want to hold, make a long video. All right. Remove the hair from your work area. Let them tell you when to move because they need to see that you have an inch of hair that's left on the floor when you finish the test. All right, the third work area, get the area clean again for the next client. All right, everything should be clean. And then you got the shaving section. This is the shaving with the straight razor section. All right. All right, and the straight, shaving with the straight razor, shaving supplies labeled in English, like we said earlier. Everything should be visible and clean. And you don't lather the beard and mustache area and steam towel is applied. All right. And don't forget your steam towel to test the temperature of your steam towel inside your wrist before you finish your when you um trying to when you put the, the towel on the face. All right, I'm trying to go a little fast. Remove the steam towel and the leather so the leather should be still on the face before you put the steam towel on. Relather the face, the beard, and the mustache, and demonstrate the strokes. They're gonna ask you to demonstrate. Um, right here it says free hand stroke, which is one, three, and four safely, and demonstrate the back hand stroke in, in area two, and then demonstrate the reverse free hand stroke in the area five. All right. Throughout the kind of area, you want to maintain um, the drape throughout the section. All right. Next section we got. This is the fifth section. This is the blood exposure procedure. All right. And then it says blood exposure um, supplies are labeled in English. Um, remove materials from your uh, first aid. You should have a first aid kit. Supplies and uh, materials are labeled, are visibly clean and clean, injured, and area with antiseptic. Then you want to put um, a band aid on, and then you want to cover that band aid with a glove, okay? And then you got the next clean up. Um, area summary too. All right, and these are um, the things that you're gonna need for the test, which is on the sheet of paper that you're gonna um, that you're gonna print out. I'm not going through all those because it'll be a waste of your time. All right, so look at all those things. Don't forget to print this out and get all the stuff that you need for this test. And this is the barbering exam. All right, but you can use this for cosmetology. You can use it for estheticians, um, instructors, anything. All you gotta do is remember when you do that um, the steps. Just put in um, what you what you are looking for, the area that you're looking for. Like when you get to this jurisdiction area, make sure when you pick your jurisdiction. I'm gonna do Arizona this time. When you do, make sure you look for. All right, so Arizona don't have, they don't have enough areas, so I got to go somewhere else. Let me try Delaware. All right, so when you check the account, Delaware has cosmetology. So you click on the cosmetology, and then they got barbering in there as well. So you can pick on which, what you want to do in Delaware. It could be cosmetology down here. Um, let me see what else they got. They got it in all different languages. They got it in Vietnamese, Spanish, Korean, all different languages. 
and that that's this one is for Delaware all right so I just want to let you guys know how easy it is to get here and how easy it is to pull it out all right have a great day